Hey, it's Katie Barrett with The Verge. If you've seen one Kindle, you've seen them all, right? Well, for the past week, I've been testing out Amazon's new Kindle. This is the Kindle Oasis. And I mean, look at this thing. It is incredibly thin, incredibly light, and super tiny. There are a few things that will really stand out for you about this new Kindle. First, it's looks, obviously. It's a square shape versus the rectangular shapes that came in other Kindles of the past. And one side of it is a lot thicker than the other side. This is deliberate. Amazon wanted you to hold it in your hand and feel that center of gravity shift. So you didn't have to sit there with two hands holding your e-reader, which nobody really does. It's also 30% thinner and 20% lighter. And that might not seem like a big deal, but 4.6 ounces is so light that it's something you could just toss in your bag and totally forget about. Another thing you'll really notice about this is that it ships with its cover. This is the first time Amazon has done this since the original Kindle came out 2007. It's a beautiful leather cover that has a magnetic clasp so you can just tug on it gently and it pulls off. And I really love the feel of this in my hand so I always wanted to pull that cover off if I had the chance. I also like that the cover gives it some extra battery life. If you don't have the cover on, the Kindle alone will last for two weeks of battery, but when you put the cover on, it jacks it up to nine weeks. So you'll probably forget that you ever have to charge this Kindle. But reality strikes, and the price for this Kindle is $290, which is insanely expensive for an e-reader. But Amazon wasn't really going for the low market. They wanted to show you they could design something really cool, and they did that with this device. Of course, you're not getting the high-end features like a 3G connection and no ads on your screen for that. You have to pay up to $380 for that, and that will give you 3G and no ads on your lock screen. This is the Amazon Kindle that you're going to want. It's not necessarily the Kindle that you're actually going to buy. Can I write my downsides? Because I didn't. I just like yeah. making those up, and I, I know I'm going to forget them again. And then.